Um, the brain, okay, you don't teach children. Mary works, Marlene's good friend, um, works at, what's the name of the school? Uh, Horizons, New Horizons. Okay, which is a school for disabled children, handicapped learning, things like that. Um, they teach them each letter at a time, M, B, T, how to say them, how to do them. What I discovered was, is if you, there are focal centers, and if you learn the nine, if you learn the letters of the name of God, the sounds, meditation, however you want to refer to this, mantras, whatever, you actually can learn all those other letters. I could take those children, teach them a specific sound. I say the name of God, this is real weird, but when I say the name of God, instead of saying, a superlative case in the Baha'i religion is, of the name of God is Abha. It's said to be the highest. It's supposed to be the heavenly world within this physical world. The physical world is referred to as Baha. And um, that's why our prophet was named Baha. And it's called the most great name. There's 360 derivatives of the most great name. So what I did was, I, the superlative case is Abha. It means glorious light, splendor, not when they translate it. So to say that name, I don't go Abha, Abha, because I saw the B and H are in conjunction, the 2 and 5. It's Abha is 1, 2, 5, 1. And I concentrate on the 1. And the 1 isn't said as a vowel. It's pure breath. It's, and any vowel they teach in Arabic, which is the Aleph, which begins Abha, is a consonant. So I took the number 1, which is a consonant, which is called the glottal stop. It's said in your throat. It's like in Hawaiian, we see it in all the... the our Hawaiian names, like uh, ho, ho, and, and you have a consonant beginning the vowel. So I, I realized that the first, and there's only one aleph in Alpha, there's two vowels, but there's only one which is at the beginning, and the other vowel is connected to that. So to say Alpha correctly, I say, Ooh, I can't even tell what I'm doing. I'm holding the glottal stop eternally, and it's just, Ooh, and I'm vibrating this. And this is how I had all the energy to do all this work and why I did it. It's just that simple. This, there's so much more I could have shown you. I threw away 500 pounds of pages and notes on this stuff. So you do that to gain energy before to you To keep start? up my energy. You do a vibrational chant. That's yeah. right. Uh, great. Say it louder. That's great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. When we do yoga, the, the, when, I, when I start resonating there, you can feel it going when we do it together. We do the old mm, and mm, that starts going and, and it, it resonates. And, the, and B and H, same thing, compression, decompression, together. <coughs> oh, see if you can make the sound. A, B, H, A, concentrating on the eternal palms on the front. Oh, wow, you guys are good. You have to stay low. You wow. Say that again. You gotta stay low, right, so you catch it. Oh, well, that's right. How you Interestingly, the letter B. In you all make it sound it real great. You, you say the name of God perfectly. Now, the letter B in the scriptures is referred to the trumpet, and it's said to be a bottomless sea which none can ever fathom. Then it says it's the blackest of nights. So the letter B is the, and then he refers to the H's as garment blowing. And they, they're in conjunction. And so that B, that bottom, so instead of how we normally would say ab ha with our lips, we're saying it in here. Because it's a song, it's like the nightingale, it's a bird, it's much faster. So the, the ah, you, the ah is guttural, uh, but the uh, wayward. So the B You're becomes, the B and H, I'm doing it all at once. The B and H just become the tube, the shape. Just the, that's the one, two, four, that's the one, two, four, eight, seven, five. That's the coil. That doesn't that stays, but the three nine six is the energy it's releasing, which is the one, but the one in the LF, which represents the vowels, actually taps into the three nine six. I don't fully understand how, Charlie. The, the H in Hawaiian is a symbol of the breath and the soul. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Aha. And that's exactly right. And that's what we're modeling here. This equation. That's the last half of this equation, which is five one. It sounds like the the like it's. 
looks like the source, the A, ah, and the B would be the receptive, uh, the two in, in uh, the I Ching, which would be the earth. And then the Ha ah would be like the soul breath, or which is a connection, or something like that. You know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do know what you're saying. Um, and the... Um, it's like Om. Om is like Alpha. Here's the one, two. Five one for Abhan is two one five one Baha, which was three six, which equals nine. It was always the one connecting back, I mean the two and five connecting back to the one. Which was the whole equation. So the whole equation of this whole toroid coil, everything we've seen this evening, is two one five one. And that's an anagram too. I mean, oh I didn't show you the anagram. Remember I said I was gonna show you the anagram? But that's, that's an anagram. It, you're just reversing something. Well you look at this, the the thing that's most famous for the anagram. And our ground. You familiar with it, everybody? You seen it? Okay, watch this. Look at the doubling circuits. Remember we did, um, well, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1, 2, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1. Is any number 1 through 9 divided by 7 equals the, um, the anagram, that number series? Are we familiar with that? Yes, we are. Let's see. Um, any number divided by 7 is on chart. Um, with the thumbprint on it. See if I can find it. I know right where that chart is. Oh, I know which chart it is. Are we talking mod 7? Hmm? Are we talking mod 7 We're, now? Are we talking what? Modular 7? Like, like no. Take 1 yeah. and divide it by 7. Oh, you get um, Here it is. I like a guy who does it in his head and gives you the answer. Okay, there it is, right here. Uh, 142857. Yeah, 142857, okay. that's right. But the problem is, is any number divided by that, like 2, yeah, because it's doubled. is the same pattern. 285714. 482571. Okay, now watch. You ready for this one, Charlie? Would you believe that that's our Taurus? Look I would believe it now. Okay. Okay. That's amazing. Oh, but wait, it gets more that's amazing. The repetition of the, uh, the that's the um, repeating decimal of sevens. It gets more amazing. That's amazing. Hold on, I want you to absorb a lot more things that are about to happen. This is going to be hard stuff. This is that's easy. Oh, Charlie, hold on. I need you to concentrate on this stuff. Okay. We know that that series is dividing by seven, a number by seven. Now. That pattern was 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You see how I did the circle? That was our control. 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the circle. I'm going to make a new circle, a new control. Remember our coil always winds this way? But I said to myself, what would it mean if I took the number series that would counter the toroid? What, what, is there any relevance to them? So I took from the 9, I took 9, 7, 4, 3, 8 right here, and 9, 2, 5, 6, 1 right here. Okay, so I put 9, 4, 7, 3, 8 that way, and 9, 2, 5, 6, 1 that way. See? Nine, two, five, so you reoriented it according to your system. On my toroid right, here, right. and then I connected the 1 to the 2, the doubling circuits, one, two, the 2 to the 4, the 4 to the 8, 8 to the 7, the 7 to the 5, and the 5 to the 1. I made the doubling circuits, and what did it give me? The integram. Except it told me that the integram was not connected at the base the way they standardly do it. The three, that, which I said to myself, was too obvious of a mistake they made. Yeah, but the Everybody would have made a triangle. It's connected at the knot. But they're in different locations now. The numbers are all totally different locations. Because I took, yeah, I, I used the toroid for where the numbers go. So are you saying the Enneagram is incorrect? No, well, yeah, I'm saying when they connected the Enneagram at the base of the 3, 9, and 6, that's incorrect. Besides that, though. N no, I'm saying the Enneagram really was real. But what you've done is you've inverted it. No, no, no. It's the same shape, the pattern. Remember, we're only looking at the geometry. Right. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Okay. And they took a circle of 1 through 9 right. and said that that circle is a result of dividing by 7. Okay. I'll give them, everyone an example again of dividing by 7. Take 2, divide it by 7, you get 0.285714. Okay. So it's 0.28, what was it? 0.285714. It makes that shape. Right. Okay. So I then took, instead of doing a circle of 1 through 9, I made my circle based on the toroid skin backwards, which I call the antithesis of the 
toroid, and I then, I then connected the numbers of my doubling circuits like I knew to do, right? Which is one, two, four, eight, seven, five, one, which makes the integrand. I found that this, this is a real, this is a real popular shape. I just wanted to show you that it was connected. They, this is on the pharmacies throughout the world in front of buildings. It's a hidden mystic what occultist type symbol. Yeah. But one and two are connected in yours, and one and four are connected in, in No, I'm not trying to make dividing by seven in mine. Right, I know, but it's... I'm trying to show that this, that, that doubling circuit... Yours are mod nine, and theirs are mod exactly seven. The same. Yeah. Yeah, theirs are, yours are mod no, nine. No, they're, they're mod nine, too. They're all mod nine divided there by... They are, okay. Yeah. But we started with mod... We started doing seven. No, we didn't. We just divided one front by seven. Okay, all I did was take 1 and divide it by 7, and I got that pattern. I'll go further. What does that pattern mean? We have multiples now. Okay, now that pattern, no one's ever been able to say. They say it's an infinite pattern. They don't... Okay, I found it's that it can... Huh? That's a repeating decimal, though. It's a repeating... And I found that repeating decimals can be given a discrete number value of... of such as the repeating decimal of 0.142857 equals a 4. Want to see how I figured it out? <laughs> so okay. what, all those times when you're, you said, oh, that's a repeating decimal, yeah, but it really means it is this number. How do you yeah. think it is a repeating decimal? Want to see how I figured it out? Yeah, but it's also okay. before. It can't be adding them together because 2 divided by 7 is the same series. It just starts at point two eight five seven one four. So I didn't add them so together. I'll tell you how I did it. You ready? I knew I took 7 divided by 7, which was 1. Okay. It's really this easy. All you have to do is say the third number or the second number before 9 is a 1 here. So the second number before 9 on its reverse mirror must be an 8. So if we divide a number by 7, 1 through 9, which is our control, if we take 7 and divide it by 2, we get an 8. We also know that 8 divided by 2 is 4. So if this is a 4, then this number over here must be a 5. Okay, which, and then I said, well, if 0.142857 equals 5, I have a 1 right here on the other side of the decimal that I'm adding to 142857. So 1 plus 142857 equals 5. That would be 1 plus 4. It's kind of like weird algebra. Yeah. So I then take 142857 and say that's an equal to a 4 up here. Right. And sure enough, multiples of 5, the last number will be 4. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. It's too easy. <laughs> okay. So sure enough, this is multiples of 4. And because I did dividing by 2, which is multiples of 5. 1 divided by 2 is 5, 2 divided by 5 is... Would you say 2 divided by 2 is 1. How did you get 5 again on... You got 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Oh, then you I said 8 divided, divided by 7 is... Is, um, is, is what? No. 8 divided by 7 it's was... One, 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 would have to... All I did was go divide... Four... Where's the multiplication I was using? Oh, yeah. Dividing by 2. Because 2 and 7 are my polar numbers. Right. So I went over here, oh, okay. and I knew that um, I could divide by 2, because 2 and 7 are mere opposites. Yeah. Okay, and it would give me the revere multipli reverse multiplication series in the opposite direction. Because I don't have a repeating decimal in dividing by 2, so I had 5, 10, 15, 20, which is 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8. So I knew that dividing by 7 must be the reverse mirror, which is 4, 8, 3, 7. So if, oh, I, yeah. so if I made this a 4, then I made 0.285714 and 8. So I go down to over here where it's 0.28714, and sure enough, I add it, with, which equals an 8, with 1, and that equals a 9, and it worked. There's a, all different ways you can prove it to be true. But it wasn't hard to do. Okay, so, so these patterns all mean something. All this stuff's connected. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how we get on to dividing. We got on it by the integram. We got on to it by the shape. Okay? Dividing by 7. Okay? I just wanted to show that I had cracked the code to the integram because I like to tie in different things to the Torah.